Let's look at this clock and see if we can tell what time is shown on it. First thing, when we look at a clock, we have two hands, and that's because time is told in two parts. Time is told in hours, that's part, and on a clock, the hours are represented by the shorthand, and then the other part is minutes. And on an analog clock like this one, minutes are represented by the long hand. So let's look first at hours. We have this shorthand, and it's between the 6 and the 7. What that means is it's after 6 o'clock, but not quite 7. Because our hand started at the top, and it worked its way around, and it's gone past 6 o'clock, but it's not 7. So it's 6 something. It's 6 something. It might be 6.15, might be 6.45. We'll figure out the minutes next. But we know it's after 6 o'clock, but not a 7. So we'll put a 6 in our hours place. Then for minutes, we have this longer hand, which is pointing right here at this mark. And minutes, again, start at the top and work their way around. But now each of these little spaces is one minute. So we can go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And when we get to this first square, this first where this 1 is, we've gone 5 minutes. Let's keep going like that, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 at this next one. And maybe you see a pattern here. Every time we get to one of these numbers or the squares, the bigger marks, we've gone five more minutes. So if we keep going, this will be 15 minutes past the hour. Keep going 20, keep going 25. Now we can't go all the way to the six because our minute hand stopped here. It hasn't reached this part. So after 25, we'll go back to counting by ones, the one minute. We have 25, 26, 27. The minute hand has gone past 27 of these marks, meaning it is 27 minutes past the hour. Let's try another one. The hour hand is between the 4 and the 5, which means it's after 4 o'clock. It's some amount of minutes after 4, but it is not yet 5. And now let's look at our minute hand. The longer hand represents minutes. So the minute hand started at the top, and it's gone 5, 10, 15, not quite to 20. So let's go back to 15, and then count by 1, 16, 17, 18, 19. Our minute hand lines up to 19. So it is 19 minutes after 4, or 4.19. On this one, I encourage you to pause the video and see if you can figure out the time. Okay, let's try it together now. So the hour hand between the 7 and the 8. So it's after 7, but not quite 8. And by looking at the hour hand, we can see it's quite a bit after 7 because it's almost to 8. And looking at the minute hand confirms that. The minute hand's gone all the way to here. It's almost back to the top. And that minute hand, starting at the top, has gone 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, and then one more, 46 minutes past, 46 minutes past 7. The time is 7.46.